Alright guys, welcome. In today's video, we're going to be installing a brand new copy in my car, dude. It's going to be so exciting and so great. I cannot wait to do it, so let's go ahead and get started. I can't wait any longer. Stereophonic sound for the home is recorded on two separate tracks, each one giving special emphasis to certain sections of the orchestra, as heard from those positions. Now, when played back simultaneously on two separate systems, the sounds are blended together to achieve a new dimension in sound impossible to obtain in a monono recording. Okay, everything's cleaned out. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and rip out this carpet, or at least attempt to. All right, so the carpet is completely out. Uh, as you can see, there's a good bit of trash in this corner I wanna get out before we install this new carpet. But if you look at this, this thing is just dirty. I mean, this is the metal, too, this is called steel so see there's two fuses under there how, how those even got there who knows I mean there's all this control stuff here I'm gonna try not to undo any of that because I don't want to you know put it back together uh, this looked really bad right here I'm gonna we're gonna I'm gonna go to town on this as far as cleaning goes and uh, go from there look at that look at that that's gross okay it's just gross so I'm gonna vacuum out everything first uh, with the child bag. Then we're going to take the soapy water to it and uh, get everything we can out with the soapy water. That can just go bye bye. And uh, yeah. And I can't take out these right here for some reason. The impact doesn't want to take them out. There's probably some fancy way of taking these out that I don't know about, but I don't want to break anything. And I really don't need to because the metal pretty much ends right there. Uh, and the carpet actually ends right there at that back bolt. So. Yeah, I just took out this plastic bit right here uh, real quick because uh, you know, I want to clean all this anyway and it'll make it easier to clean up. So I'm going to go ahead and go get my shop back now and I'm uh, going to go crazy on it. And then we're going to take soapy water, just soapy water, and spray down the whole thing, wipe it clean, and then we should be ready for some brand new carpet. done with the shop back and uh, now I have my soapy water you probably remember this if you watched the uh, super clean your car video uh, this is literally just soap and water in a spray bottle basically we're gonna be spraying this whole thing and just wiping it clean trying to get all the nasty stuff out of it you may need a sponge for this and you may need some other chemicals I don't know this is what I'm gonna start with I'm gonna work my way up uh, I always try to start with soapy water because Usually it gets most of the big stuff out and then I can go back with something a little better and get off the rest of it. So I'm going to go ahead and wipe all this down with this and if I need more chemicals I'll come back and I'll keep going over until everything's clean. So 
I finished up in here. As you can see, it looks much better than it did before. There's no dirt in the floor. There's some little stuff that came off my that came off of my shoes. Uh, there's a little bit right here. I may work a little more at that. I may work a little bit more on the driver's side, but the passenger side looks really good, I think. I think it looks really great. Uh, I worked really hard on that one. This side, I just kind of went over one time. I didn't really go over it a couple times. So I'm going to go back over this a couple times, try to get it a little bit cleaner. But this is with just soapy water. I. Ow! God! Ow! Crap! <laughs> try not to step on these whenever you're doing this. Ow! Anyways, so I did just use soapy water on this and it all came out. Uh, I took out these two bolts right here. Sorry, I'm trying to get you guys. This one and this one. Uh, I pulled those out and I cleaned out from one of them. Uh, I did not take this module out. Okay, I didn't take any of this stuff out. Uh, I'm not even 100% sure what it is. So, but I mean, I'm sure there's a way of putting them together. You know, these just slide back, obviously, and then things should just pull right out anyway if you need to take this stuff out I don't see why you would oh god my foot anyway I don't know why you would but uh yeah so I'm gonna hit this a couple more times and then we will be ready for carpet so all right so here on the left we have the old carpet that came out of the car uh looks pretty bad as you can see I mean even though we did do that detail cleaning on it last week you can tell that it is just terrible I mean, look up here at the front. This is what the car would look like. Okay, that's all the stains and stuff. Now, there is an option. If you do not want to buy a new carpet, you can dye this. Okay, you can clean it, dye it, whatever color you want. But this I got from Rock Auto. Uh, actually, on the, it was shipped. Oh, your return request will be accepted until... Okay, so I can't return it anymore. That's okay. Oh, the box got ripped. Oh well, it's okay. So, I'm only going to give you a little bit of a sneak peek of what it looks like because you'll get to see the whole thing go in. Here's my, here's what it looks like. Right there. That's what it's going to look like. And then this is the floor mat. But that right there is what it's going to look like whenever it's in the car. So, we're going to go ahead and put this in the car and unroll it and go ahead and lay it in place. Uh, I'm going to clean up all my drills and soapy water and stuff and then I uh, pull this box in there and I'll get started. Okay guys, so I know I've been offline for probably quite a while now and you haven't heard from me in a bit, but uh, we got the new carpet in. Uh, it actually came through and rained on everything we had sitting out here, so there's that. But uh, real quick, I wanted to say one thing about my app, and if you watch my last video, you'll know what I'm, you'll know what this is and everything. Whenever I installed this right here, 
I had to drill it out, okay, because it didn't fit in this hole right here. Okay, it kind of slides right here in between the plastic and the metal and bolts down directly to the metal. Okay, that's how it sat. But it didn't fit, right? The hole wasn't big enough. So basically what I did is I have a drill bit set up there in that bag. Basically, I took a pair of clines and something, or it's basically something to hold it with. I held it with that and I basically drilled it out with the other hand and made them widen the hole. Now in doing this, it fit in here just fine, right? But there are, there are other alternatives to this. I really did not want to cut off this end and make a new one for it. I really didn't want to do that. I mean, I had new ends. It, it's not like it would have been a huge ordeal. But I really wanted to use this one that came on it. So that's what I did. I drilled it out to make it fit. Uh, I kind of just worked my way up uh, to this size. You probably saw what size it was before if you watched the other video. And as you can see, this hole's much, much bigger. So uh, yeah, this, this bolts up right here uh, underneath this. So that's how I grounded mine. Uh, anyways, guys, new carpet's in. I'm going to get all this stuff back in. Because uh, right now I still have pieces of panel and seat and everything else laying everywhere. So I'm going to go ahead and bolt everything back in. Get everything back the way it should be. Because you can see even that's off still. <laughs> over there. So I'm going to get everything back in here the way it's supposed to be. And uh, then I'll come back to you guys. And tell you exactly what we did and how we got it in here. and stuff like that. Alright, guys. So the carpet is completely done, it is all installed. I went ahead and took up the floor mat so that you guys could just see the beauty of it. Look at that with the seats installed. Look at that. I'll go ahead and open it to the back here. Now the floor mats are in the back. But uh, yeah. Now these are the black floor mats. These are not what came in it. These actually came out of a Lincoln. But I am going to be putting these back in my mom's car. Because they're hers, and uh, they I wanted to see how they'd look in here, and they look great. So I'm probably going to pick some of these up at a junkyard, uh, see if I can't get any out of an old one, and maybe clean them up or something. Uh, but there's the other side. And then here's underneath. I don't know if you can see. That's the underneath. That's really great back there. Things are nice and so. And as you can see, we actually, I went ahead and I hid the wires. They're in here. Alright, basically what I did was I pulled off this panel, and basically what it does is it pulls off and it slides down and the whole thing will pull out. After you unbolt the seat belt, of course. And then there's this track. Let me try to show you guys. Let me pop this up real quick. There we go. Peel the uh, carpet back. See that little black track there? It's the same thing that we did in the front. That's what's holding all the wires. Okay. And if you watch my amplifier and summer video, you know that they're installed up there up front. So, uh, yeah, that's where we put them, and they ran back here. And uh, instead of running them through... Okay, let me try to let the seat down. There we go. Okay, so you can probably see what we did here. Instead of running them through this hole, which is where we routed them originally, they ran through here and into there. It looks a lot better. Uh, the amp is really well hidden and I really like that, you know. I don't like all of my amp wires to be visible and stuff like that. You know, it's just, I don't know, it's not very appealing to me, you know, having all that crap just thrown out across the car. Um, so yeah, this is very uniform. You can see the carbon from here, dude. This looks amazing. Okay, I honestly, I think I like the black better than I like the tan, even when the tan was clean. I think I like the black a lot better, I really do. Uh, so if you have a tan interior car like this one, and you want to put in black carpet, now you know what it's going to look like. And look, it contrasts very nicely with this tan trim, dude. It, it contrasts so well. Alright, so, basically whenever I was installing this carpet, the hardest part of the whole thing was the console. Uh, getting it cut out and getting everything to fit in there properly, that was kind of our base point. So we, we, we cut out the carpet for the console, we installed the console, and we pretty much went from there. Everything kind of flowed from there, and everything went in great after that. Uh, but that was the hardest part of the whole thing. Um, but whenever I got this thing, I actually thought that everything was going to be cut out and ready to just plop in there. I really did. But it wasn't. Okay, I was, I was like, alright, well, whatever. You know, we'll make it work. So that's what we had to do. We had to make it work. And I'm glad that it did, and I'm glad that it looks great in the car. Uh, if you enjoyed this video, be sure to leave a like on it, subscribe to my channel, and stay tuned for more. See you guys next time. Bye.